Yes. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's certainly a pleasure for me to represent Dr. Suleiman Hodeisi, our chairman, on his behalf in this segment and on behalf of the FTTH Council, Middle East and North Africa. I would like to thank the ITU for inviting us to this conference. ICT technological advances and the development of ultra-fast broadband networks have transformed our society. Smart devices, digital media, and e-services have changed the way we live, the way we do things, and the way we interact with each, with each other. Broadband networks are evolving rapidly with extended bandwidth capacities and higher access speeds to meet the ever-growing demand for broadband services. For the past seven years, bandwidth has witnessed continuous growth, up to 20%. However, the demand for more bandwidth does not seem to settle and is likely to continue in order to accommodate rich content services such as video streaming, online gaming, and teleworking. Why this is important? Because as we know, higher broadband penetration drives economic growth and help nation achieve social goals such as improved education and healthcare outcomes. If you were to examine the different broad technologies available today, only fiber to the home can meet the demand for broadband services. Around the world, telecom providers are transforming their networks to deliver next generation services. In their future networks, fiber optics wires, not copper, will run all the way to consumer homes and businesses. Consumers who subscribe to FTTH consistently rate it as the fastest and most reliable broadband technology. They also appreciate that fiber networks can deliver many unique broadband services for medicine, education, home-based businesses, home automation, and entertainment. Over the last few years, businesses have made a massive shift to cloud services for economic efficiency their critical systems now operate at huge remote data centers rather than on-site computers. The speed, reliability, and secure fiber connections make cloud services viable. Already fiber connections are available to more than 200 billion homes globally, a tenth of all the households in the world. And worldwide, an estimated 107 million households subscribe to fiber-based services, including voice, video, data, and more. In the, in the MENA region, more than 1.5 million households are using FTTH services, with the highest take-up rate of 43% in 2013. UAE was ranked number one in FTTH penetration rate globally for the past two years. The numbers continue to grow rapidly. As we mentioned, FTTH creates business opportunities and competitiveness. Operators can expect increased ARPU, lower churn rates, and op OPEX savings. Businesses will find new ways of working, reduced travel and office rentals costs, better time management, more innovation, and better competitiveness. Although FTTH mass infrastructure rollout requires substantial monetary resources, the long-term benefits are reasonably justified. Wireless and copper-based broadband technologies play an important role in providing high-speed connectivity. Fiber is being pushed as close as possible to the end consumers. Never, uh, newer wireless technologies such as LTE require fiber connection at cell level and often offloads internet traffic to fixed broadband networks. In conclusion, a sustainable future and better quality of life are enabled by FTTH. FTTH enables users to benefit from applications, content, and services based on ultra-high speed broadband. The highest impact, however, will be in rural, rural areas where developing feasibility for connecting rural areas is always a challenge public-private par partnership must be in place, where several initiatives can be developed to connect the rural areas. Possible initiatives by utilities and housing developers can play a significant role in providing FTTH to urban and rural areas. Thank you very much.